Hello and welcome back to Underlab. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the episode you've all been waiting for. Gaster is the ultimate mystery in Undertale. No one has been able to fully explain every little detail about him yet, and it seems the mystery is truly endless. Well, I have an answer. It's a slightly convoluted answer, but an answer nonetheless. I feel it's an answer we can only come to, however, after first knowing everything there is to know about Gaster. I'll be going over what likely inspires the character, and the many references to them in-game. And finally, I'm going to try and explain the mystery once and for all. Well, hold on to your hats, because we're about to uncover the truth about Alfie's predecessor. Alright, so I've actually mentioned this quite a lot recently, so I'll keep it brief. Gaster appears to undoubtedly be inspired by a character from the slightly obscure game, Yumi Nikki. He bears a resemblance to Yuboa, a peculiar sprite that only appears in a certain room if you flip a light switch on and off repeatedly. Yuboa is incredibly disturbing, as this horrifying sound plays after triggering the event. Yuboa may be a little more than simple inspiration for Gaster, however. When Yumi Nikki was released, it gained huge popularity because of the character Yuboa. I imagine it likely isn't obvious why. What's so interesting about a character that seemingly has absolutely nothing explained about it? Well, it turns out it's exactly that. Yuboa grew a cult following because it's possible to endlessly speculate and theorise over just what exactly Yuboa is. Keep that in mind as we move on to the many hidden secrets about Gaster within Undertale. So, to quickly summarise, Gaster doesn't exist. Almost everything to do with him is hidden in the game's files, and pretty much anyone who just plays the game normally will never even learn of his name. There's multiple hidden rooms and encounters based around a value within the game's files known as fun, which, when edited, allows you to encounter bizarre events, alluding to this so-called Gaster. I've already mentioned a lot of what I'm about to cover in my Top 5 Greatest Mysteries in Undertale video. Gaster was naturally the number one pick, and I said sometime I'd make a video dedicated to Gaster. I want to cover as much as possible about Gaster in this video, however, so I'll be going over some of the same ground. Though don't worry, there'll be plenty of new stuff as well. The first and most blatant reference to Gaster occurs if you name yourself Gaster at the beginning of the game. Rather than letting you play, the game resets, and you're brought back to the intro cutscene. No other name does anything like this, so it isn't just some bizarre glitch. Now there are things that happen if you enter a certain name, such as Toriel, but Gaster is the only name that resets the game. While this doesn't directly tell us anything, it confirms that Gaster is the name we're looking for, as surely we'd be able to just take the name, if it wasn't of some sort of importance. Then there's the wrong number song, north of Snowdin, where the river that spans the entirety of the underground lies. You will sometimes receive a call asking for a name beginning with G. They quickly hang up upon realising they've dialed the wrong number. There aren't many monsters with names that begin with G. Perhaps it was meant for Gerson. However, this seems unlikely, as we have to remember that Toriel gave us the phone we use. The number it uses is surely very different than the numbers that modern day phones are using. It just so happens that Gaster was likely around when phones as old as Toriel's were being used, so the call could very well be meant for Gaster. Next, there's the sound test event. Sound tests were often a part of the debug menus in retro games, such as Sonic the Hedgehog where you could listen to each unique sound sample within the game. This appears to be something similar, but quickly we realise that there's something off. There's a few quick jingles we can listen to and one complete song titled Gaster's Theme, which sounds like this. Evidently, this isn't really a sound test, it's just a confirmation that there's someone called Gaster who has their own theme. The only problem with that, of course, is that there's no such character in Undertale. Or is there? The river person who ferries us from location to location on their catboat has several things to say about a man from another world, telling us to beware the man who speaks in hands. This would be cryptic and nonsensical, and seemingly just the rambling of the river person if it wasn't for what we're about to cover next. By forcing the game to place us in room 264 via file editing, we'll see a message written entirely in Wingdings, a font composed of symbols. This is one of the biggest pieces of evidence alluding to Gaster, as it gives us a lot of information. As Wingdings often features hands for the symbols I mentioned, there's a good chance that Gaster is the entity the river person was warning us of. 
Secondly, Gaster isn't the only NPC with a unique font. Sans and Papyrus speak in their eponymous fonts, and both of them are skeletons. Could this therefore indicate that Gaster is a skeleton? You've very likely heard it before, though it's an important part of the mystery, so I'll translate the message that Gaster supposedly recorded. Entry number 17. Darker, darker yet darker. The darkness keeps growing. The shadows cutting deeper. Photon readings negative. This next experiment seems very, very interesting. What do you two think? What the experiment is that's being referred to, and who the two people with him are, is completely unknown. Some guesses include that it's Sans and Papyrus, due to Gaster's likelihood of being a skeleton, while others say that it could be Sans and Alfie's, as both of them have a background in science. Now I've mentioned Sans, it's worth noting that he seems to be connected to the Gaster mystery. Sans has a history of secrets all of his own, such as his abilities such as teleportation that simply can't be explained. In his secret workshop that can only be accessed by literal time travelling, you find strange blueprints written in symbols you don't understand. It's quite likely that they're in Wingdings. In the game's files, the strange skulls that Sans attacks you with are called Gaster Blasters, confirming that there's a link between the two. The only question is what? If you can believe it, the mystery only gets deeper. A grey door appears in Waterfall if you have a thumb value of 66. Inside, you'll find a bizarre black and white man, who disappears when interacted with. In the game's files, they're called Mystery Man, so we can't say for sure whether they're Gaster. Two things worth noting, however, is their resemblance to Uboa, and the fact they appear to have two black holes in their hands. Like the hands that attack you during the bravery portion of the Omega Flowey fight. There's three secret NPCs that will appear in Hotland if you have the correct fun value. They're grey versions of pre-existing NPCs with the exception of a weird distorted face. They all say mostly the same thing, with a few variations. They explain that Gaster was the former royal scientist, and that Alfie's may end up the same way as Gaster. One holding a head claims to be holding a piece of Gaster. And finally, the strange face mentions that you shouldn't talk about someone who's listening. Something they all vaguely mention is that Gaster has been shattered across time and space after an experiment went wrong. Another secret grey NPC exists in Waterfall, internally called Goner Kid, who resembles Monster Kid. They lament on the idea of not existing, that the world could function perfectly without you, and what a horrifying concept that is. This seems to be directly in line with the other NPCs rambling about how Gaster's existence has been severed. Fortunately, you can cheer the little guy up by bringing them an umbrella. Two unused rooms, room 123 and 272, may contain references to Gaster. If we access room 123, through use of a hexadecimal editor, we're told that someone with a creepy smile is behind us. Fortunately, we never find out who. In room 272, there's a peculiar sprite in the centre that will say redacted in Wingdings if we attempt to interact with it. The implication here is that Gaster was cut from the game. If you can believe it, the mystery just keeps going and going. A post on the official Undertale Tumblr, apparently from Sans, references that you shouldn't talk about someone who's listening, just like the grey NPCs. He also inexplicably states that Shiren's lower body may have some answers. Shiren's lower body is regarded as a separate entity from her head, but other than that, this seems to be something of a red herring. I could keep going. There's plenty of lines of dialogue and peculiar events in Undertale that could be argued to be linked to Gaster, though I'm pretty sure I've covered all of the most likely. I have an explanation for Gaster, and while I don't believe I can truly put the mystery to rest, I never had any intention to. I'll explain why shortly. Without a doubt then, the character Gaster has been lost to space and time. What exactly this means isn't clear, but it likely means we won't be physically encountering them anytime soon. We know that they were the scientists who came before Alfie's, and that they built the core. They also seem to have some connection to Sans, and possibly Papyrus. Perhaps Gaster is a relative of theirs, maybe their father or their brother. It's hard to say for sure. So, we know who Gaster is. They're a character embedded within Undertale's lore. They don't actually have a physical presence within the game. Which of course raises the question, why does a character who's seemingly irrelevant have so many hidden references to them? Why are they hidden to begin with? Well, the answer is relatively simple. Toby Fox knows how to make a great mystery. In Waterfall, do you remember walking past the castle in the background? I imagine many of us anticipated we'd be going there later in the game. But do we? It's hard to say. People say it's Asgore's castle, but why does his home in the capital not resemble it in the slightest? I believe the castle is merely there to give a greater scope of the world around us, and to imply that it's larger than just what we experience in the game. The same goes for the core when we walk past it in Hotland. Admittedly, we do go to the core later on, but the first time we see it inspires awe and mystery, as we can only ask just what exactly it is we're looking at. The same answer applies to Gaster. What Gaster is, is a mystery. 
there simply isn't an answer. Okay, so maybe there is one that's incredibly cryptic, buried away and absolutely impossible to find. But I find that very unlikely, considering everything that people have pieced together already. I truly believe that Toby Fox created Gaster to be exactly like Uboa, to never be explained and to be left to the player's imagination. He intentionally gave us just enough evidence to come up with all sorts of incredible theories, but never enough to explain every last detail about Gaster. And clearly, his plan worked. We're still talking about Gaster a year on. There's people who believe that Gaster was talking to Sans, or Alphys, or even Papyrus. There's people who believe that Sans and Papyrus are Gaster. Some people even think that Undertale ties directly to different games. This was all completely intentional. Toby Fox ingeniously found a way to keep people talking about his game years after its release, and I don't say that cynically. I think everyone enjoys talking about Gaster and speculating over every last detail, and Toby Fox knows it's best to let us fill in the blanks, rather than providing an answer himself that by this point would likely let us down. That isn't to say Toby Fox couldn't provide a convincing explanation to the Gaster mystery. In fact, I'm very sure he could. However, there's inevitably people that would be disappointed because they liked the Gaster that was this or that. I think it was always Toby Fox's intention to keep people in the dark about Gaster, which could be why the character has so many ties to the theme of darkness. The answer to the mystery of Gaster is that it's an endless mystery. It won't end with this video, but nothing else will bring it to a close either, unless Toby Fox decides to patch the game or make a sequel with an answer, which, even if that did happen, I suspect Toby would only give us more questions to ask rather than providing answers. The constant theory crafting about Gaster is healthy for Undertale's community and its popularity, and there's no reason why Toby Fox would want to change that, and chances are he likely won't. I'm sorry if this is a slightly underwhelming explanation, but it really is the most truthful answer I can give you. I have plenty of theories in my own mind about Gaster, but the truth is this is the only one that will explain everything. We will likely never know the truth about Gaster, just like how we'll never know the truth about Uboa. Or maybe there is more I could tell you. It's just, I think it's best to not talk about someone who's listening. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you all agree it was about time I tackled Gaster in full. He's an extremely interesting character because of how little is explained about him. And truthfully, though we may not realise it, we don't really want to know all the details. If we knew everything about Gaster, the character would undoubtedly become a lot less mysterious, which sort of undermines the whole point of them to begin with. What are your personal theories about Gaster? Feel free to share them in the comments. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe you learned something new, and I'll see you next time.